Hello sweet friends and welcome to the Rebookery channel. I am Gina and today I'm going to explore in <clears throat> this new journal that I made. Um, it's all fabric. So if you want to see um, how I came up with this and what my thought process was behind this journal being all fabric, um, I'll link the previous video below and you can go check that one out. But my intent for this um, is to figure out how I can, make sure I'm in frame here, figure out how I can push myself by just working in a fabric journal, but I'm not gonna limit myself to just fabric. Like I can put all kinds of other things in here. I can put paper and buttons and I don't know, just anything I want in here, but my substrate will be uh, fabric. So, yeah. All right, so <clears throat> I'm just kinda, I just got some stuff out here on my, my desk. This is just a bag of just, I don't know, scrum is what I call it because it's just a bunch of stuff left over from projects and I don't know, just kinda wanna pick and see what I want if anything's calling to me in, that wants to go in this journal. Like I, I like I don't even know, I just don't even know. Like I don't even know enough to know. So I'm just gonna start, actually I'm just gonna start looking through. Now one thing I did do was I pulled, before I turned the camera on, I pulled out some scraps. And so this is a piece of some polyester this is just a remnant of some old fabric, and then this is a newer fabric, but I liked how these three went together. I love the, the color combination. And so, like, this is inspiring to me. Sorry about the lawnmower. Um, I think he's done with the backyard. I could be wrong. I see a little patch that he still needs to do, so we will maybe have to uh, listen to that noise here in just a few minutes, but it's so nice outside, and I know the humidity is going to creep back in, and it's going to get really hot again, so I want to sit with the windows open. But anyway, so this was, I just, I love this. This is very inspiring, so I'm going to push this off to the side. I'm just kind of looking through here and seeing what what is it what is calling to me and again this is just scrappy stuff so when i was i was making some journals this week and we'll i'll do another video about those but um as i was pulling fabric to put in these journals i pulled this scrap fabric and uh it had this really cool stitching. So wherever I got this from, an estate sale or a thrift store or something, someone had pieced this together and they had done these really cool stitches because if you look that you can see there's two different pieces of fabric. I don't know, I just think that's really cool. I love, I love that. And so that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. I would like to maybe put that with something. This is um, a piece of my old baby clothes and it's just so soft in the texture and oh, I just, I just love it. And so that purple and that purple, um, and it's just the way it feels. I'm loving this. I could put something like that in there. Um, this is a cool little piece of fabric that I had playing off of the color orange again. I like that. Here's a red. I really liked this. And I was thinking, okay, I could do, and here's a piece of wallpaper. Ooh, I kind of like that. And with that, maybe that red, maybe not. Here's a little bit of peach. I don't know. There's all kind ooh, I like that too. Okay, there's some good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So now, let's go to, let's go to a page. So, okay, so the way I set this up, let me just show you a little bit about how I set this up. So this is a front and this is a back. And I could stitch on the front, which I do plan on putting something on the front, 
I need to know that my stitches will show through. And I'm okay with that because I can always take, you know, a piece of fabric and I could cover it up if I wanted to. But for the rest of the journal, I left myself some options. So this is the front of the fabric. This is the back. Then I took this, this could be the back, and this could be the front. So if I stitched on this, or glued or whatever, and stitched on this, I would have two backs that are gonna have some messy stitches. I'm okay with messy stitches, but not everybody is, and if I don't really like them, what I could do is I could glue or stitch the two together once they're complete and I could just easily do a little whip stitch um, or because this is totally fabric and totally flexible I could easily run this through my machine that is another thing about this journal is it can be easily run through my machine like I can fold this I can twist it I can do whatever I need um, to get it through my machine because there is no hard back there's no paper that I have to worry about ripping. Um, so the, I, I, the possibilities are just endless on this. So kind of keeping that in mind, so there would be a front, there would be a front. So then again, here, this is a front, and then this is a back, and this could be a back, and then those two could go together. Now, do I have to follow that rule? No, I, could, I can do whatever I want. This is my journal, I can do whatever I want. But that's kind of how I set it up. So this would be a front, and these two would be backs. And if I wanted to, I could glue, whoops, got an extra one there. I could glue or stitch these two together when I'm done, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now that I've done all of that, I wanna try to find, okay, so let's, let's take, ugh, I really, really love, like I, just, I love this, this little collection. Like, it's just a little collage. I love the feel of that polyester with these soft cottons. That's just, mm, scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. And then, oh my gosh, what if I put, like, what if I did that? Oh my gosh, that's even, yeah, yeah. Like, that's even better. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I really like that. And then could cut, maybe I don't want, of course, I don't even know where my sewing scissors are. They've, they've gone a missing. <laughs> and I don't know where they are. And I don't know that, <clears throat> I've been looking for them for about a week now, so I have no idea where they are. Okay, like that. That's just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, like I'm totally, I'm just like all over the place here. I'm just, but this is kind of what I was thinking with this journal is just things that inspire me, like things that are just fun and pretty to look at and to touch, fun and pretty to look at and to touch and, and that and the just makes me want to go create, you know? Oh, look at that, look at that little piece. Ooh, I don't even know where that could go. But then, so pulling in another, this is some wool felt here. I mean, that's just, yeah, that's delicious. Oh, I love it, okay. And then pulling this out a little bit so that these guys can all see, I can see everything here. So a lot of my work in here is just going to be playing around with placement and now this is a piece of paper it's a piece of wallpaper and it's not i mean it's not old wallpaper or anything it's just some pretty wallpaper like just that that's just i don't know that's just magical um yeah that's just really magical i really really like that so, how would I put this together? Well, I could do a couple of different things. Um, because it's fabric, I could just literally leave it and close the book. Now, it may fall out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tape it if I wanted. 
I could use safety pins if I wanted. Um, I could stitch it all down if I wanted. But here's what I've found about my stitching is I like to stitch when I'm, when I'm, I don't even know, when I'm slow. There, there you go. When, when I'm, when I'm slow, that's when I want to do my stitching. I want to have it all put together so that I can go on a nice day, go sit outside with my sewing boxes and just, just stitch. That's, that's when I want to stitch. I don't want to sit down and turn on the camera um, and stitch. That's just, I don't know. It's just not me and it's just not my intent. Um, and it's, I don't get the pleasure out of it that I would if I was sitting outside in my backyard. So I can arrange things because this is the kind of mood I'm in right now is just the arranging and composing. And I can just arrange and compose and I can leave it as is. Now, I could take some pins and I could pin it. Um, and I'm okay with that if, if I wanted to do that. Honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna leave it just like that. I just like that and I'll sit with it. And you know, if it gets messed up, it gets messed up, no big deal. Um, I'm gonna switch and go to another page. And I'm really wanting to do some paint. And I, I know, I just, I've got this itch to do some paint. And I don't know what kind of paint I want to do. I don't know, I don't know how I want to paint. I just know I want to paint. And so I think I'm going to go to, I've got this blue paint in my head right now that I want to use. Okay, so this is fabric. This is, uh, some curtain fabric and I'm not gonna lie it's a it's a cheap uh, fabric it's really really stiff and um, it's not very tightly woven which is perfect because one um, that means nobody really wants it Two, um, the wide weave is gonna make it easy to stitch through so I want to prep this because I feel like I want to add some paint to it so the first thing I'm gonna do See, there's the lawnmower. First thing I'm gonna do is I want to, um, I wanna add some clear gesso to this. And I could, um, and actually I think what I'm gonna do is place something down here so that my gesso doesn't uh, go through and stick to the other page. Just a file folder here. And grab paintbrush. And I'm just, I like the Liquitex clear gesso. Because um, it's real gritty. But you can use whatever kind you want or whatever kind you have. You could use white gesso if you want. Again, sorry about the lawnmower if it's bothering you. Just just mute me. Turn on the closed caption. Okay, so here's what I did. Um, basically, I was talking to you about, if you notice, there are raw edges, and that's because these are all torn pieces of fabric. When I'm working with fabric, I like the torn edges, but if you don't, you could do a couple of things. One, I could easily go through and I could stitch. Remember I told you you could run this through um, your machine or I could run this through my machine. Also, when I go to, if I want to back my backs together, so after I'm done, I could stitch these and then, you know, I could do um, some sort of a running stitch or a back stitch, blanket stitch, whatever, and then it will help to keep these from fraying. The other thing is, that clear gesso will actually add a little bit of stiffness to the fabric and so that will keep it from fraying too but ultimately this is a junk journal a a salvaged journal a um, piece of scrap fabric in my journal so I'm okay if there are the frayed edges 
Okay, so once I put my gesso down, I then just ran my heat gun over it um, to kind of get it dry. And so you can hear now it's gotten more, um, it's got more heft to it um, because I put that gesso down. And so now I can paint it and that gesso will help to not have it bleed through, but that also gives the paint something to hold on to rather than just the fabric. And remember I told you this fabric is a wide weave, so there's gonna be lots of spaces that the fabric could actually seep, or I'm sorry, that the paint could actually seep through. So just adding that gesso will um, make this more paper-like, I suppose, if, if you wanna think about it that way. And so here is the paint that, um, I'm going to use. It is um, some paint that I have mixed, and it's actually um, a. Uh, ooh, it's actually like a uh, milk paint or a um, clay-based paint, and so it's going to have a very matte finish. This is the paint that I like to use when I'm doing encaustic uh, wax because. I don't want any um, I don't want any sheen to it. I don't want any shiny, so it's going to be very, very matte. And so this is a paint I use for that. And I'm not made painting a masterpiece or anything. I'm just I just have this urge to. Um, it's been a while since I've painted. I just have this urge to put some paint down. Maybe make some flower petals. and this is gonna seem odd, but I want to tone this down. So here's what I'm gonna do. Take a piece of jelly paper, and I'm just gonna kinda smoosh it down into the paint. Okay, and that's just gonna get any of the wet paint. Get those, there you go, little pieces of wet paint. Yeah, yeah, and you can see that it's kind of, it didn't go through too much on the back, but that's again, no big deal because I can either add something on this or like we talked about, I could glue it or stitch it onto the back side of this. Okay, so now what I wanna do is like I said, I wanna tone this down because this is not, this is just the background. I'm just playing around, just like I would do in a regular um, paper journal. I'm just, I'm just playing around and I'm building up my layers, building up this background. And I had fun painting, and so now I wanna kinda of get it ready for my next layer. And so, don't freak out, but I just want to um, tone it down just a bit. So I'm gonna use some white paint, I don't even think I'm going to need that much. Just like I would do if I was working on paper, I would tone it down. Okay, because it's just going to be a background. I'm just going to let it blend into the back. 
take my deli paper, soak up some of that paint. I could take another piece of fabric if I wanted and put it over the top. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, oh, look at that. Yeah, okay. So now, I think you need something with a little more absorption. So I'm gonna take this. Mush it down, pull back that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's actually, it's given it some texture. So there's some texture here of my brush strokes and my layers of paint. And I like that. Just add some white down in here. Cause it didn't get, I didn't do a very good job of getting down in there. Add some brush strokes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Again, take my deli paper. Awesome. That's going to make a really cool background. Now, am I done? I, no, I can always come back. And because I gessoed this, and it's going to be more paper-like now that I put this gesso on there, um, if I wanted to collage some paper and stuff, I could. Um, I could go ahead and do some stitching. I could put fabric on here, but I created a background and this is a good first layer. So I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun. All right, so now I'm gonna let that dry. I think I'm gonna go outside and do some yard work, but just to kind of show you you know, I've got this first layer down. I can, oh, look at that green. Look how that green pops off of there. That's just, oh, that's awesome. Um, got some of these blue, this is a sheet, and oh my gosh, that, that kind of matches those flowers. But you can see how now I have this background, and I painted, and there's all this texture, and now I can go and I can add something to it. Whatever that something is, I don't know. Like I said, I was thinking kind of a house because I don't know. I just, houses houses are safe for me. Houses, um, they, they give me comfort. And yeah, like I'm just, I'm just playing around. I, there's just so many, there's so much stuff I could do here. Um, so. What I want to do is I'm going to step away from this and I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to come back once it's dry and it has this nice gritty texture. Um, and I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. We'll, we'll see. Um, so there you go, my friends. Today I played in my fabric journal and just like it was paper, um, just like I would do if I was making a collage in my regular old junk journal. And I love it. And I, I can't wait to see what happens next. So I hope you got some inspiration. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're happy. And I hope you do something creative today. Until next time, goodbye.